Let's go, finish it up, let's go. At age 12, Bella Pedraja was a competitive swimmer, enjoying life with family and friends in her hometown in Florida. But one night, everything took a turn when stomach pain landed her in the hospital. More hospital stays would follow as doctors tried to figure out what was wrong. Seventh grade, like that summer, I was in and out of the hospital. Like, I'd be two weeks in, one week out, two weeks in, one week out. Bella was diagnosed with pancreatitis. It's a condition that happens when the pancreas, the gland behind the stomach that helps with digestion, becomes inflamed. The intense attacks can last for a few days or keep coming back. Bella's doctors in Florida recommended the Pancreas Care Center at Cincinnati Children's for treatment. It's one of only a few centers in the United States that is dedicated to caring for children with pancreatic diseases. It is also recognized as a National Pancreas Foundation Center of Excellence. The Pancreas Care Center's main goal is to have children with pancreatic disease live a normal life while they have pancreatitis. We still don't have a cure for it yet. While we're actively working on research in those avenues, we do strive to address all the elements that could be affected from pancreatitis so that children could be healthy and functioning and do the normal activities that they enjoy to do. Can you tell me where it hurts? When he was 18 months old, Elliot Elam of Michigan was also diagnosed with pancreatitis. He was hospitalized close to 20 times in two years. My belly was hurting. My everything was hurting. It's so hard to see your child in pain um, and to not be able to do anything to help it. Uh, it's just heartbreaking and they don't understand when they're little. The Elam family reached out to our experts for help. Treatment at the center is handled by an extensive multidisciplinary team of specialists. Care includes advanced treatments that help improve a child's gastrointestinal system. So one thing that I focus on um, in our pancreas care center is endoscopic therapy. And there are um, different modalities we can use, including endoscopic ultrasound and endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography or ERCP. Those enable us to both evaluate uh, the pancreas and the level of disease that's existing in the pancreas and to treat with therapy uh, as needed for each individual patient. More severe cases of chronic pancreatitis may require surgical therapy. Cincinnati Children's is one of only a few institutions in the United States offering an advanced treatment called total pancreatectomy with eyelet autotransplantation or TPIAT. The complex procedure involves the removal of the pancreas, which is then broken down, and insulin-producing cells, called islets, are isolated. We reconstruct the GI tract, and we put the islet cells back after our uh, laboratory gives this back to us, and we inject them into the liver with the hopes of these islet cells to regrow in their livers and start working producing insulin to prevent diabetes. Because pancreas really affects other organs and kind of the pain aspects and the nutrition aspect of it, we do take a holistic approach to really cover all of these areas and dimensions so that the children can thrive and do well in their life. Elliot and Bella have undergone TPIAT surgeries and both successfully recovered. They are back in their hometowns enjoying their favorite activities. Bella is back in the pool competing. I swim every day and if I don't swim, I'm at school or um, with my friends. As for Elliot, one of his favorite things to do is dance. Thank you doctors and thank you nurses for helping me.